That's what my grandson plays? Maybe. Maybe after this you'll want to have a talk it with him. <laughs> I think it's too late. <laughs> Do you have any idea what type of video game this is considered? A violent one. Well, it looks like a combat one. Are there different types? I mean, are there war types? Are there fun types? Are any types or typewriters? I don't know. It's called a first-person shooter. Any idea what a first-person shooter game is? I shoot you before you shoot me. Either I shoot you first or I'm out of the game. You're like in the in there and it's from your point of view. You're in the video game and you're shooting the other people in the video. So, I wish Black Ops would come back and get Snooky, but that's a separate issue. Did you know that video games could look like this now? No, I didn't. That's pretty neat. Not that great. But I'm still thinking of like Pac-Man, you know. They are getting more and more realistic. I'm thinking it's probably a matter of time before they can replace actors with animatroms or whatever, just just go ahead and pixel them in. Well, how old do you think you should be to play the game? I think 18. Maybe over the age of 18 where you have a little bit of reasoning, we have some education, some schooling, and you know the difference between right and wrong. Never. I don't think anybody should play it. Do you think it's appropriate for kids? Children, no. Preteens, yes. It's a personal thing. I think if you have kids, you should actually spend time with them. You know, don't get the DVD player for the back of your car. Really what that means is you never have to interact with your child again. They don't want to talk to you anyway after a certain point, you know? You're going to lose them for a few years. And if you never had them to begin with, they ain't never coming back. Until later when they they go, wow, you know, he's not that big a dick after all. I guess I would like to spend some time with him. Well, do you think that it's good to have games where people are fighting specifically as soldiers? Well, I'm a pacifist. I don't like armies, so I guess I'm in trouble. Yeah. Um, I think, it, I, I mean, it's not any different than playing a soldier when you're a kid. Well, I think it's it's good in a way because my father was from the Army and it's a very good role model to, to have, you know, the Army, the Navy, people who want to fight for their country. I think in that respect it's very good. Is there anything good about video games? Sharpen your reaction to things. I guess they can teach things to little kids. Well, people enjoy it. Isn't that a good sight? We need to enjoy life. Do you think it's okay that kids are spending a lot of time playing video games versus doing other recreation? I loved my childhood and I love the fact we didn't have all this so we had to make up our own games or just go outside and or read books from the library. So I understand why they like to play and they are addictive, but I think the parents should pull the plug if they can. I think parents are lazy and they just like give them something to do. I've seen kids do play games like that, like in restaurants and stuff. They're not even talking to their parents or talking to each other. I think that's the real sad part. A lot of people have kids and they don't want to spend any time with them. They still want to hang out with their friends. And if you have kids, then you know you need to spend time with them. You need to read to them at night. You know, you need to you need to know what they're doing. You need to be involved in their life. Does that mean you need to be overlooking them all the time? No, you don't. I mean, your kid shouldn't have to wear a helmet and a body condom to leave the house, but you should know what they're doing.